What's up everybody, welcome back. In this question, we have to draw a potential function f of x if the graph of the derivative f of prime x is given here. So this graph here represents the derivative of f of x. This question is fairly uh, difficult, fairly unique. We haven't gone over one like this yet. This uh, type of question is gonna be covered in further chapters. But uh, let's see what we can come up with just with our knowledge so far. So we're gonna be drawing a potential graph f of x. There's actually multiple solutions to this. So I'm gonna give you the way, I'm gonna show you the way that I do it. So first thing I always look for is when is the derivative equal to zero? Because we know when the derivative is equal to zero, usually there's going to be either a maximum, a local maximum, or a local minimum at that point. And the derivative is equal to zero at these points here, at x values plus or minus two. Then I see when is the derivative going to be greater than zero, in what interval? Well, that's gonna happen in between x values, negative two and positive two. The derivative is greater than zero above that x-axis in this interval here. So when x is between negative two and positive two, and then when is the derivative negative? When is it less than zero below the x-axis? Well, that's gonna happen here. So when x is less, than negative two, or when x is greater than positive two, here. Now, when the derivative is greater than zero, what that means, we're gonna cover this in future chapters, is that the function is increasing. And then when is the derivative less than zero? When the derivative is less than zero, it means the function is decreasing. Because if you think about it, for example, when a function is increasing, so it looks like this, when we read from left to right, the y values are increasing. If we draw a tangent at any point, the slope of that tangent is always gonna be positive. So whether the function is increasing like this or whether it's increasing like this, anywhere we draw a tangent, notice the slope of that tangent is always going to be positive. So whenever the derivative is greater than zero, means the function is increasing. And then same thing, when the derivative is less than zero, means the function is decreasing. The function is decreasing. Anywhere you draw a tangent, that slope is going to be negative. And then where the function or where the derivative is equal to zero, it means usually that there's gonna be a local minimum or maximum. There can also be a saddle point but usually a local min or max. So notice here at this x value of negative two, just before it, the function is decreasing because the derivative is negative, and then right after the function is increasing, right? I'm not talking about this function here, I'm just talking about the signs of the derivative. To the left of negative two, the signs of the derivative are negative, meaning that the function f of x, which is not this graph, is decreasing. And then to the right of negative two, it's increasing. So we know that at negative two, there's going to be a local minimum, meaning that the function is decreasing to that point, and then after it's going to increase, right? So to the left of negative two, the slopes of the tangents are negative, right here, meaning that the derivative is negative. And then to the right of it, slopes of the tangents are positive. And then notice at this x value of positive two, that's gonna be a local maximum because the function is increasing, meaning that to the left of it, the derivative is positive, then to the right of it, derivative is negative. So it's going to, let's make this a little less steep. So it's gonna to increase to this point and then start decreasing again, right? So to the left of that point two, 
the slopes of the tangents are positive, and then to the right of it, slopes of the tangents are negative. So that there is a potential graph. And then notice at negative two and positive two, slope of the tangent is just zero, which makes sense here. Right, so these types of questions we're gonna cover more when we work on curve sketching. However, thought I would include it uh, just to have you think a little bit and just to uh, throw something different at you. So when you get something like this, figure out all of these intervals, where the derivative is equal to zero, where is it greater than zero, where is it less than zero. It's gonna tell you where the function is decreasing, increasing, and whether there are potential max and mins. And then depending on what's happening around those values where the derivative is zero to the left and to the right of it, it's gonna tell you whether it's a local minimum or a local max.